I'm Sergeant uh, David Cornthwaite. I'm the detachment commander for Eckington ACF, Army Cadet Force. We're part of uh, Derbyshire Army Cadet Force, which is assigned to the Mercian Regiment. Um, we have eight detachments within sort of North East Derbyshire. Um, obviously, this one's in Eckington. We parade down here uh, twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, parade starts at 7 pm and we finish at 9 pm. Uh, currently we have around 23 cadets um, and the age groups are from year 12s right up to 18 and 9 months. Uh, at that age they have to leave the Army Cadet Force but they are eligible to come back as volunteer adult uh, instructors. Uh, there's many benefits for, for cadets. Uh, I think one of the, the first benefits is it gives them something to do on an evening and we do tend to find uh, the summer months in particular uh, we have advantages of using the local uh, fields for doing our field craft uh, training and exercises. Uh, but the other added benefits is um, it's not just a military organisation. We do lots of non-military non subjects. Uh, we're very uh, keen on first aid. Uh, most of our cadets have got first aid qualifications. And should they spend sort of two to three years within the cadet force, uh, they could go with a, with a full first aid at work, uh, first aid qualification. Alongside that, we uh, offer Duke of Edinburgh uh, award scheme, um, of which we've got uh, six cadets currently either on the bronze or gold uh, DOVs. And as an example, uh, the gold DOVs recently have been uh, doing pre-expedition exercises in Snowdonia two weeks ago uh, in the nice cold weather that we had, but uh, they've come back uh, really refreshed. And the DOV, a lot of people just think it's walking and doing things like that. It's, it involves volunteering, uh, doing skills and other things. Um, and two of our, our cadets, one for their DOV, is actually kayaking uh, his way around on his uh, three-day expedition. And the other one is actually doing hill walking. So they've both got qualifications in kayaking and uh, hill walking based around that, which the Army Cadet Forces supported them and put them through on the courses. Typical night would... would anything from uh, doing map and compass so learning right from a basic stage just how to fold the map right up to doing night navigations uh, you know, walking following the stars and that type of thing so it's quite in depth and that's again something that uh, can be useful in the civilian world um, they'll learn field craft exercises um, how to live and, and, and care for themselves uh, in a field uh, which is what we quite often do on, on weekend exercises where we go to military establishments throughout the UK. Uh, other areas, as we said, would be first aid, we cover first aid. Um, we have nights where it's just sort of a, a team building night uh, and we're out of the, the green stuff and have a bit of fun and, and, and some team building. Um, we try to do things within the community as well, which might be down to such as poppy collections, uh, raising funds for the poppy appeal, um, and again, down to supporting local uh, schools and things like that. Uh, heavily we, we try and get the children involved in uh, fundraising both for, for detachment and things like the Army, Army Benevolent Fund where we'll go backpacking at Sainsbury's or Tesco's and places uh, that'll have us uh, which gives us a good presence uh, and uh, obviously we've been seen there out in the community. Uh, other subjects, uh, shooting, um, we again start at the sort of air rifle uh, point of view where cadets do target shooting and again as, as Derbyshire company goes uh, in the Army Cadet Force we're very strong in our at competition shooting and we, again we've been quite fortunate we've got a couple of cadets here that's got through to national finals and that's against the air cadets, sea cadets, army cadet forces and the combined cadet forces and we, we've won places and they, they get to different parts of the country uh, doing shooting which they really enjoy. Again, as they get older, they fire uh, better weapons and uh, have a lot more fun from it. But it does get it does get the cadets. More they put into it, more they'll take out of it, and it'll get them anywhere within the country. Um, we don't have any musicians down here, but people that are musically inclined as a as a company, um, we do have a, a band, and they're allowed to to parade one night a week at another detachment to, to do band practice and skills. Uh, and that's another fantastic opportunity for, for musicians and stroke cadets. Um, it does take them all over the country and all over the world. Again, another thing that uh, we cover, when they become of age of 16, we automatically enter them in for BTEC in community service. 
which is equivalent to a number of uh, GCSEs. Uh, it's something that we'll support them with, so that's a stepping stone for, for CUV building. And many cadets uh, or, or young adults that are leaving here, whether they're going to university or into civilian jobs, um, we are dependent on, on reference building for them. Uh, and we quite often get references uh, to sign up for them. And it's all based on, on their attendance, attitude. Um, but we'll disclose what, what they've achieved throughout their career within the cadet force. And if they can see that someone's been a progressive self-development person, um, I think it stands them in good stead.